Hi guys, welcome back to some more Factorio. Um, so I've been doing some researches. Uh, I have finished all the laser turret upgrades and I finished the worker speed three. Uh, what was I looking for? So yeah, right here. So now the next level of work, robot worker speed is basically requires science packs. Uh, so basically we're not doing it. So consider this the, the fastest these bots will go. So if I uh, put these down, you know, my little overpowered strat that I've been doing this whole time. Yeah, there you go. This is how, this is how fast it can possibly go as far as the context of this run is going to go. Because as I said, when I, when I launch the rocket, my, my run is done. All right, so there's that. Uh, what else is here? Uh, let's see. I did every single type of module research that, well, not every type. I think discharge defense because it's useless. I didn't, I didn't do. Uh, I didn't do, yeah, but I have like, uh, just to show you the tree here, I have power armor 2, energy shield MK2 equipment, battery MK2, personal robot port 2, there, yeah, there's a second level of this, exoskeleton equipment, and portable fusion reactor. So we have all of that. Uh, yeah, the only thing I didn't do is discharge defense, like I said. I even have a personal laser defense, just to fuck around and see what that's all about. Alright, so we've done that. Uh, and I was doing some infinite researches. I think I got to the point of mining, mining productivity requiring now production science packs. Um, that's the first thing. Uh, and I've been doing like, yeah, laser turret damage. Uh, so I've been trying to work on those, I think. For some reason I'm doing shooting speed right now. I'm not sure why. I think I had some copper issues. I don't know. Anyways, um, so with that being said, so we just expanded over here. Uh, let me turn off uh, train stop names. It's in the way. So I had to kind of change this guy into like a, a circle. So, because it was causing like traffic jams and shit. And this is too. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's why they're pre signals. Because, like, like over here, it, like, it would like stop here and be occupying this block. And then it would. I don't know. It's fucking. It was weird, man. I, I don't know, man. I, I just put a bunch of pre signals down and it works now. So we have this copper ore patch and this iron ore patch. And I got this little mini 1 million ore patch. Um, and the problem now is that I actually don't have a lot of copper around me anymore. They're all like really insignificant, um, portions. So what I'm planning, yeah, like this is, this is it right here. So what I'm actually thinking of doing is, um, I mean, I can always go for this if I, if I need it right now, I, I guess it's going hundred percent, but obviously we're going to need more. And this is kind of the problem with, um, death world and marathon in general with this game, uh, which is that. The game eventually becomes, you know, you, you get past the early game, they the biters don't really become a threat anymore. Uh, it's more about, it's more annoying to just have to clear them because you got to make your way around like this. Um, I'm hoping this is a big copper patch. I might actually dig for that. Like, I've shown you none of the outpost building, and that's about, like, right now, it's about 70% of this run. Uh, as I said, kind of annoying, uh, but, like, that's just, I, I don't do Death World Marathon that often, so, you know, might as well. So as you can see, yeah. So the unload as fast as possible and kind of stuff. I've been efficiency moduling these ovens, and I'll show you a little bit later what that's all about. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll show you what that's about. Uh, I added another line of science machines here, I think. Um, and I've practically moduled all of them. And yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I've copied the iron layout uh, for the trains, because I like that layout so much. So we actually have an additional line here, which I'm going to use to basically feed into the factory. Because as you can see, there's a, like, I feel like we're just missing one. And I've done this stupid shit where I've, like, split it off. Like, I should never do that. Like, there's a bit of a gear issue right now, but we can fix that. Um, but yeah, so we have more copper. We're going to need more than that. And I should probably head up this way to, to get copper. Because remember, the more I head out away from my spawn area, the more rich the resources will be. And I've already built so far up here. But I was really hoping to do artillery wagons, because that would make clearing these so much easier. But, um, on that matter though, we're we're doing some major changes right now. So, this shit, this shit's fucking done. Uh, we are building Power Armor Mark II, and this is going to be most of the beginning of this episode, to show you like how much resources I'm actually fucking spending in this. I've had this for a while, and I've actually been really nice, and I, I've decided to actually wait to show you how this is all is. So, this is going to take 25 seconds to make, requires... Five efficiency module threes, uh, five speed module threes, a bunch of other shit. Trust me, it took a while to make, but I mean, I got it done, so it's all good. Um, I mean, it's it takes a while simply because of all the speed modules and stuff, but I've, I was building it by hand, kind of like what I showed you last episode. 
Another thing we're going to do is we're going to make at least one portable fusion reactor, probably two. Uh, I need some row ports, uh, row ports here. We're going to need a crap ton of batteries. So I'm going to try and just eat it off the line here because we, we have it coming here. I, I guess I should just take it off the battery line over there or something. I don't know. Uh, what do we need? We need iron gears. Well, that's a problem. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna eat everything I need off the line. Also, we need more coal, so we're also gonna probably make a coal line today. Uh, yeah, so fun-filled action all throughout today. We need more batteries again. I don't want these stupid speed modules. Fuck. So yeah, we gotta start setting up another coal train because the uh, well, we actually have to make a line for that now because uh, coal is now becoming a problem because we need it for uh, virtually everything. All right, so what's the problem now? I don't know. We need steel. Yeah. Yeah, boy. All right. Almost have enough for that other robo port. I don't even know if I'm gonna really use batteries all that much, but we'll see. Uh, we need iron gear wheels. Probably a bit more steel. All right, what does this need? Oh, we're making five personal robot ports right now. All right, so pa uh, power armor mark two. Oh, there we go. More inventory slots immediately. Uh, it doesn't really do much else. It just has a, a large amount of like resistances and um, inventory. And the equipment, the, the inventory size here is huge. So now we have one of these. This is the stupidest thing because if, uh, if I actually compare this for you, like these are solar panels. It's like 10 kilowatts, and then this is 750 kilowatts. But I, I don't know about strapping a, a portable fusion reactor to your body, but you know, um, it's it's what it's what our, our our nice man does here. So that's that's pretty much how this is gonna go, I guess. So we have one uh, fusion reactor so far. Uh, we should probably work upon the batteries too. And unfortunately, this also need you have batteries need they need more batteries. So maybe we should get some of those out. Alright, so, uh, I think we only really need two, but it's going to take a while to construct most of this. This is, as I said, I've been saving this, guys. I've been saving this for you. Uh, here's another battery. Uh, let's get some legs going, because I'm tired of going slow. So we need el el uh, electric engines. Laser sh turret shooting speed is done. I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go into military four, and then right into artillery wagons, because I... I, I want to see if I can get to that. I want. I really seriously want to get to that. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're having an issue. I, I get it. Um, like nothing would make me happier in this universe having artillery wagons. And I picked up a bunch of useless sciences. All right. So we need legs. We need lots of legs. We love legs. All right. Legs are. I don't know. Are factory of fetish, I guess. So, um, this entire, like, it's, uh, this is actually probably one of my biggest complaints about this game. You've been watching me this entire time, you see my little consistent walking speed and things like that. So, the exoskeleton legs are, I mean, you can run it off of, I guess, the heavy armor, but that still requires components, and you're basically, what, by the time you get uh, processing units, uh, sorry, this, these are processing units, by the, way, by the time you get processing units, which need, are needed to make exoskeleton legs and... Um, and the heavier armor and, and whatever, the the armor that's in between, which is this one, it's useless because you might as well just go for this one because you you've already made processing units. You're 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 fucking like you're ninety percent there because there's there's no there's no in between at all. So what you do is you uh, strap some legs inside your uh, armor and and uh, now we go much faster. Um, this makes the game a lot smoother, but it might be a bit janky to watch. But fuck, I don't know. So. That's uh, and we can go fast, like, like you would not believe. Like here, let's see, let's see how many legs I can give myself. Oh, well, maybe I shouldn't do that. I'm trying to still make batteries, so we can put the night vision inside our uh, gear here. So, uh, the fusion portal fusion reactor always goes. It goes at all times of the day, uh, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, we can put the two row ports in. We can give ourselves like um, another fusion reactor because these take up. Uh, 600 kilowatts in total right now so usually i don't know man but we can we can go really fucking fast let me tell you like i i just want i just want to i want to put like the maximum amount in just because it's fucking hilarious 
Uh, but we need more batteries before, before we, we attempt that. Uh, oh, I, I've also, um, yeah, so this is, this makes the game like 10 times smoother, honestly. Uh, getting to this tech. I put out a, a bunch more oil things up because, yeah, and then we had to increase the heavy oil and the light oil once again. Uh, we're, we pretty much reached like the limit here of how much space we got, but I mean, it's having trouble apparently getting rid of the petroleum. Uh, this is most likely because of pipe uh, dynamics and no other reason. So, I mean, getting getting another pipe, maybe maybe hooking in this pipe or something. I'm I'm actually not entirely sure, but yeah, because if you actually look, the patrol the the pipes are getting kind of full. I don't know, man. I don't know what the problem here is. Um, so I mean, the the best play would be to get another portal fusion reactor and maybe to get some of these. Uh, um, we, we we like a shield system. We're 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 like Halo. We 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 we've, we've liked watching Halo and stuff or whatever. I don't, maybe. Uh, all right. So let me put one battery in. Uh, we still need one more battery, you know. So, apparently, one battery requires a lot of batteries. Apparently, it needs a lot of steel plates. So, yeah, it, it, this LP may have just gotten a whole lot jankier, but, yeah. Alright, let me just let this thing... Okay, there you go. We need nine more of these. Uh, we could also get personal laser defense, which might be good, but, I mean, I, I have personal laser defense. It's called bots. So... Uh, oh yeah, and with that, uh, our support for robots is now 50, and we can now recharge them all the time, and it's really not an issue. They have uh, It gives me a lot more ports to work with and stuff, so that's really nice of the, the game to do things like that for me. Uh, Alright, so let's continue to make legs, because let's see how fast we can go, because this is like now the, the best part of the game for me. Trying to go fast. We need more legs. Now, of course, I, I'm going to go with the realistic, because obviously you can do some shit where, like, you charge up batteries, and then, like, you swap out the, the fusion reactors for more legs, um, which is, you know, you, you can do that. It's kind of weird to do, though. So we're, we're going we're gonna to go with what's feasible here. Uh, you know, we're going to be kind of the buzzkills, I guess. Uh, what do I need for these? I need some more steel plates. So I'll show you some of the other stuff we have. There we go. Let's just uh, just make one right off the bat because those are really nice. Yeah, these take a while to make, by the way. Uh, and this is, as I said, I've been waiting on it for quite a while. Uh, we're gonna keep the night vision with us, but now it's gonna be far more consistent. Uh, what you've been watching so far, it's been like on and off. Like it, it just sometimes just doesn't work. It kind of sucks. Um, so, like I said, this is late game stuff. Like, this is like, there's nothing better than this stuff. But it's so janky because it comes all at the end. Like, and I and I actually hate that part of this game. Uh, I, I hate that it does that. Um, I'm actually going to make one more leg. And then, uh, what does this need? Processing units. Now, un unfortunately, fine-tuning my movement is now a bit of a problem. But, you know. Uh, whatever, I'm going to optimist. So... I mean, more legs than this is probably overkill, um, which for reasons that should be really obvious. So we can support off of one reactor, um, like this many legs, like there's actually nothing wrong with this because the thing is like I have batteries and so when I'm not moving, they don't use power, but, uh, this should give you an idea of how fast we go. We're going to be Kenyan basically. You can see my battery is draining slightly, I think, but when I stand still, the battery will go up. So, if you want to have, like, you want to go fast, sort of. Um, yeah, but for the sake of this LP, I, I'm going to say this is probably going to make half of you really sick to watch me do this. So, we're just I just wanted to show you for example's sake. And like I said, I could put two more legs in there and go super fast. Uh, but that's that's not really feasible. I'm even debating right now even having this set up as it is, because this may be too fast. Uh, that's, on, that's on regular ground, so... Maybe this is too fast. I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm maybe gonna slow it down just for people who might get sick. I, I I'm fine with that speed, but yeah. Um. Yeah, this looks a lot better. Like, remember, I won't be walking on cement most of the time, so this is actually this is actually perfectly fine. All right. So that's how we're gonna do that. Um. Actually, no. I'll put one more in. All right. All right. That's the compromise. All right. So this is how many we're gonna have. This is actually what we're gonna have in the end. 
So we can actually have two personal laser defense uh, uh, mechanisms as well. Uh, and what else is there? So there's energy shield, so we can be halo. Uh, yeah, let's put two uh, turrets up as well. So that's actually kind of neat too. So I, I think two batteries is all we need. Um, I mean, the, the, the reactors will generate, uh, this is about th one, uh, 150 power. So uh, to be honest, like I don't really need to have this other portable fusion reactor, but uh, you know, it's whatever. So let's let's just start getting rid of some of the crap in the chest over here. Um, oh, wait, I, I need that. Alright, so, and so when I said we were going to be Halo, I wasn't joking, so... I don't know what our health is normally, I forget, but, um... If we put this in, we now have a shield bar. Uh, so, I, I, I don't know, you can insert the, the sound for that. Wait, what's the power consumption on, on, this, machine, on the, this thing? 600 kilowatts, so... These two um, laser things can actually sustain that indefinitely. So now we have some personal defense, and I'll actually show you how that works. Um, let me go aggro some biters. So I don't know. I don't know if this is too fast for you guys, and I'm sorry if it is. So let's go. I mean, obviously, when they go into the laser wall, it hurts. I'm not doing anything, by the way. I mean, that guy's obviously really tanky, but. But now, but now we have a shield system as well. I mean, uh, quite honestly, like I could do without the laser, and I could probably just put another leg in. But like I said, I think I think this is like too janky as it is for people to watch <laughs> all the time. But I don't know, man. I'm 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 actually considering to bring out the other one, but I, I record these so far in advance that I can't really get the feedback. I don't know what else I'd put in here. Maybe another robo port. Uh, maybe two more robo ports, and then like then we'll like really build things like at a super speed. Like you have a hundred bots constructing things. Holy shit! Maybe maybe that's what we should do. But then again, like yeah, I don't know. Uh, let me let me see what other upgrades we have. So I decided not not to do discharge defense, and that's just uh, I'll I'll read the description for you guys so you actually know what it does. Sorry, I'm I'm like in the middle of like looking at stuff. Um, which one is discharge defense? Yeah, we have combat robotic. Here we go. So what this will do is um, it will damage and push back and stuns nearby enemies when activated using the remote. So you build the remote, right? And then it's in your inventory and you click it and then it does and then it has to recharge and then you can do that again. I, I mean, it's it's 100 damage, energy consumption of that. I don't know, man. I've never used this thing. I, I just, I don't care enough. Hon honestly, usually the way I play this game is all my defense is my speed. So, uh, we already have two batteries. We already have two robot parts. We already have a bunch of legs. I don't want to have, have any more legs. So, but realistically, besides the lasers, the only other things I can do is energy shield equipment. Um, so, we, as I said, like, it's so janky how this game's scaling works. Because I really wish this power armor was achievable without blue chips. And maybe the exoskeletons were achievable without blue chips. Because making them require blue chips just means just go all the way, get the science for it. Fuck it. Anyways, um, so probably the car is now too slow for us. Uh, so we're gonna go. I mean, for now it's too slow. So we're gonna go. Actually, I need to get some blue belts so we can go up there real, real fast now. Real fast. So I, I, I don't know, man. Um, so at this point, we don't really need like. We don't we, we don't really need to to fit our base with anything weird. We just kind of have this. So I need to upgrade this line here because uh, I am very sad at how this is working right now. So let's go deal with this. Um, so what kind of balancer do we need? Let's have a look. Uh, six to six is probably the play. So let's get our bots to deconstruct this. Look at that. Look at them go. Unfortunately, these these uh, jerks are over here. So, oh wait. Luckily, there's a chest full of this stuff. All right. So let's uh, let's get the balancer out. It's the same as before. And I can actually let them recharge now. So there's actually no problem with that. And look how fast I can do this. We okay. Now, if if you're if you're thinking that man, Mike, this looks boring as fuck. Well, you're wrong. It's actually really fun. No, no, nobody's thinking that. All right, so now we need to get some of this stupid stuff going here. 
I am actually so sick and tired of this stuff here. Whoops. Because I, I just, I don't know what I was thinking when I did half of this. And also, why is there even underground belts here? Right, who even knows? Okay, so I don't know what this system is, but I'm, I'm not proud of myself. Uh, yeah, we're gonna just uh, have you go all the way here. And you can come all the way down here. Alright, not so shabby. Now, I probably should still use the excess system to put it into the main bus here. Um, I, I don't know, man, because it's like, if you actually, because if we, actually, you know what? No, no, no. No, I'm I'm being a I'm being silly goose actually. We already have a system for this. That's possible. See, I, like, how do we deal with the excess? Because like, you see how one line is moving. How do we deal with the excess and also allow for the main bus to have some? Well, I'll tell you how. That's possible. It's a very simple solution, guys. This is so fucking nice right now. Oh my god. I can't believe I can't believe I actually had to wait. I had to build some bases. We do a six to seven balancer. That's how we fin that's how we fix this up. So I don't have to pick them up anymore, because they'll just do their thing now. And look, the power is just completely full all the time. Alright. So now we bring up this guy. Oh god. <laughs> uh has science gone too far? I'll just have to... I'm actually super disappointed that this is working the way it is. There you go, that should be much better. Although it's still the petroleum is going through the base. I'm not too happy about that, but that's okay. We will deal with my anger issues through speed. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. It's very simple. Uh, since it needs to go over here anyways, As I said, I'm not actually really too used to using balancers to, in the first place. Um, so how many... I have a lot of uh, iron ore here. I don't know. I'm starting, I'm starting to think this is actually maybe a little bit too fast and that people are going to get fucking jarred now. I, it's kind of weird how in this game the scaling basically works like... when The minute you go to high-tech science, you basically go fucking twice as fast. And like, as I said, I, I don't, I don't make these rules. I simply play the game. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do something like this. There you go. I don't know why it needs this thing at the beginning, but I, I just, I figured out it does. Actually, it doesn't really need it. Whoops. So I'm being moved around by belts, and it's really sad. All right. Let's get rid of some of this crap. All right, so that's uh, that should. Oh, don't know. We're not done yet. Sorry, my bad. All right, we'll do something like. Okay, so we don't need this to be the case anymore. We just do this right away. So it fills up two belts, and that's it. Now, I know, like, it's it's sort of weird how this works, because it always has, like, gaps in there, but I don't know, man. I'm not the leader of this stuff. So, balancing it will ensure that everything gets what it needs to get. Um, as you can see, the gear line is now more saturated. This shit is what I should have done in the first place, for every single scenario. I guess, I guess the way that you're supposed to use the balancers in this game is basically just to, like, you know, split it however many times you need to, but... It, it just ensures that like if some of the if some of the iron uh, doesn't get what it needs to uh, Sorry, if one of these lines isn't going uh, the the plan the hope is that we always have trades coming in, but if, if something's wrong then uh, Yeah maybe, maybe we'll be able to do something. So let's go up here uh, Really fast and then uh, I'm gonna go put all my blue belts away. I don't really need too many of them anymore. I mean, I might as well carry a couple because simply because I have so many of them. 
but yeah. Why do I have speed modules? It's because I picked them up. So, for the first time ever, uh, this sign, uh, high tech science is actually backed up. It's because that this science is a problem. I mean, I was going to blue chip them as uh, sorry, uh, productivity module them as well. Um, the thing is, I, I don't want to make that many more productivity modules, but I guess it would make sense for that one actually. Blue science, and then I don't know how many more I want to really make it on. That's the thing. We need a couple more just to make up for the fact that uh that uh we 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 essentially slow down all the science here. I mean, this is probably not going to make up for it at all, honestly. But eh, whatever. How many more do we have? Uh, just one more. Because I did it with most things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, this is not enough productivity science, actually, given the amount that I have. Um, also, I should mention that there is actually something we can do in this game. Um, we can actually beacon things. And beacon things transmits effective modules to nearby entities, uh, which means like you can make ovens faster or something else. We're not using that because to actually use those and get to the point where those are useful to us... Um, we, we need to be playing the game a lot more, and we're not going to play, as I said, past the rocket stuff. We're not playing past that. Already as it is, like, these things have been such a copper sink, it's not even funny. In fact, I'm, I'm probably going to make one more stack, and I'm going to leave it alone. And we're going to take the rest of these efficiency modules. So I'm going to explain what the efficiency modules are for. So ovens right now take up 72 megawatts of power. Um, so if we run down real quick, like, uh, over to our furnaces... Like I said, if you find this to be janky, I'm sorry. I, I, I cannot foretell this in advance. Uh, what is a comfortable st speed for people? Uh, but if you, find, if you find it to be a little bit janky how fast I'm going, you can obviously uh, make it like slower. So, you know. All right. That's a lot of copper plates. Anyways, all right. So, kind of the band-aid solution I've had for some of my power woes. So, I'm... Oh shit, okay. Yeah. So I've been trying to avoid making another reactor set uh, because that uses more uranium and, um, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, obviously I've had some of these things. So one of my little band aid solutions is actually to just uh, add efficiency modules to the ovens. So the difference between an efficiency moduled uh, oven, so right now what it does is I can put two in there. And they both decrease um, power consumption by 30% each. And it's stacking, so it's 60% total. Minimum power consumption is 20%. So with just these two things, uh, we've reduced, we've made the power go from 180 megawatt, uh, uh, sorry, 180 kilowatts to 71.9 uh, kilowatts, which is pretty good. And let's just go straight to artillery wagons, because that's fun. I, I want to have fun. Um, so that's kind of interesting the way that works. Uh, also, wow, we have a lot of iron, don't we? This one just doesn't move. Anyways, um, so that's kind of the plan around that. Um, so I did that to kind of hold me over. because, and, and, and I know you might be saying, there's going to be someone out there who probably asked the question, is there not better stuff to put in there? That's a, that's a very good question, actually. So I'll show you the other options. Um, so we have speed. Um, so speed modules make things faster, obviously, uh, but... We don't have necessarily infinite resources. In fact, I don't want it to go faster because uh, I have to basically expand for every single resource. So when we have basically an annoyance of resources and a shortage sort of, um, does it not make sense then to productivity module it because you get more out of the raw resources that you get? True. Um, however, the fact that uh, productivity module threes are the best ones, um, and I don't really want to, I don't want to put these as productivity module ones because then again, We'll have to make more ovens, we're going to have more energy consumption, then we're going to make more reactors, we're going to make more pollution, all that kind of stuff. And so, get, productivity module threes, you have to remember, are like a thousand copper each. So we really don't actually want that many. Um, I, I basically was putting it into the blue chips since I made this line so big and we need so many blue chips. I figure that's like one of the only things to get, and then like, that's it. I don't think I really should be getting anything else. Um... So the, the, the advantage with the efficiency modules is that if you look at how they are at the net later levels, so while, while this one gets productivity 4%, then 6%, then 10%, uh, 
Uh, this one just becomes better energy reduction for a very high cost in resources. So the minute you go to uh, efficiency module twos, they're just super expensive. But module ones are not that bad. In fact, like I just was making them and it's just, you know, it's whatever, I don't care. So we just put this into everything. Uh, well, not necessarily everything, but this will drastically reduce the energy consumption of our factory. Um, and the hope is I won't have to make another nuclear reactor set, but I'm going to have to say I think that's not looking likely. Um, which is a problem because I really like the symmetry of what I had worked on there. So uh, rest in pepperonis. So I'm going to just uh, module the rest of this and I'll see how this is going to go now. There's uh, some ovens up here, obviously. So I'm going up here. So that's it for that. It's because, you know, bots, the bots take up, you know, I mean, the buffer recharge is five megawatts for this thing, but it's still not great. Yeah, so I'm sitting at now uh, 400 megawatts, which is, you know, just perfect. But, you know, assembly machine threes take up 73 megawatts. Miners take up a shit ton. Uh, electric furnaces I've reduced drastically. So that's good. Uh, my radars take up a couple megawatts. That's just how it goes. So, I'm not too sure what to do about this setup. I was so happy with it. Um, like I said, the band-aid solution would be I add a couple more steam engines down here, you know, for those, you know, kind of like bursts of energy that we require, but that's the problem is that, you know, we can't foretell this shit, so uh, what would you have me do? So, uh, that's kind of the issue. So, we're gonna go make now a coal stop, so it's gonna be, gonna be black. Or that's white. So I don't know my RB RGB, so we're gonna call it coal. Black is the color of coal. Uh, and we're gonna go and put down apparently nothing. I mean, it's pretty simple to do. Actually, I fucked this up, my bad. Let me re remove this. Ah, oh, fuck. You're Seriously, the bots, man? Every single time they annoy me. So because they count as being a logistics network, they, they constantly want to uh, offload their crap to some box here. So if I go and make this better. No, don't, 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 do, don't do that. I mean, it's just an unfortunate thing. I, I I thought maybe the game would not do that because I, I actually don't mind my... This is why I have a personal RoboPort for. It's so I don't have to rely on the bots for this kind of garbage. But no, unfortunately, I do have to rely on the bots for this kind of garbage. All right. So because of the way this works... Uh, oh, I have the wrong thing set up. All right, so we can actually blue belt this wherever we want now, uh, because this is gonna be coal. All right. So I'm not sure where to send it. Uh, so coal, I, I guess I'll just send it over here. I don't know. Uh, Cause we're gonna need coal in the rest of the factory. I can guarantee you that. Um, yeah. Should I just do it over this way? Maybe I should have had it go up instead. All right, we're gonna have it go up instead because that's actually where I put everything. There's no sense of me putting it like through the base like that. Actually, I'll just get the bots to do this. Fortunately, it's, I don't know, they actually all did do it, nice. I was just gonna whine about how like uh, the bots don't do what they're supposed to, but apparently this time they did. All right, so. And go up there now. I have to do something like. So it means I should do the same here. So now we work at a much better speed. Actually, this is fine. All right. So now this is going to make two things on a blue belt. We could probably just leave this be. Honestly, I don't really mind this. We're just going to copy over this layout, whatever this is. All right. 
So we need to bring in coal. Uh, do I have a train for that? It's probably in my car. So which coal patch should we go for first? Maybe this one, but the thing is that there's still iron ore here. And there's actually a ton of miners here that actually aren't doing anything. So maybe we'll go clean that up real quick. Uh, I guess we're gonna tap into this 1.4 million patch first. Um, I think we only really need one train. Like I have a small patch there. I haven't really been going after coal that much, but yeah, as soon as this is cleared up, then it's probably gonna be all good then after that. Yeah, I have 26 miners with me right now. Let me go find my car. I don't know if I should, I, I honestly don't know if I should even bother driving there anymore. Okay, I'm gonna say that it's worthless to drive there now, because, I mean, the car is still good for carrying around walls and stuff. It's like a portable, like, storage container, but yeah, we kind of need, um, we kind of need rockets, rocket fuel now. Uh, what's this thing need? Oh, really? I didn't, I didn't have chests? Alright, so apparently I'm dumb, and I didn't make chests. I still go, I still work by, based on iron chests, because well, why the fuck not? Alright, so what's the problem over here? Is there like an iron problem? Or shall I say iron deficiency? Uh, bad humor, I know. Alright, so... Alright, actually the car should also have, where's my car? I think it has my trains. I have a train inside my car, you know, because that's normal. But I actually don't have one. I have a crap ton of... What the fuck did I just put in here? Fuck. I don't want all this. Uh, oh yeah, we don't need we don't need efficiency models anymore. I think I'm pretty much done with those. We're going to just have a chest full of them, because we might as well. I, I don't see the reason not to. I hate coal so much. Right, this is blueprints and... Uh, this is this is a nice blueprint. I like that one. You know what? Yeah, you can stay. That 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 so far is my proudest achievement of this run is those train stops. I actually like those. Uh, do we need another line of uh, science? Do you guys think? I mean, it's just blue science. It comes out kind of slowly, which would be real nice if like I could make it actually build science faster, and which we actually can. Uh, but the problem actually is not in the supply. It's the problem is actually in the the miners are too slow. And if I actually look at the miners, it's because gears don't come f down fast enough. And it's probably because the gears are all being eaten, eaten up by things up here. I mean, the thing is, you can always priority splitter it to the left, but you know, like it's just oh. Or you can productivity module, but that's also something that's like you know. You're, you're probably going a bit overkill. But, I mean, it, it's something that we could do. Like, would you really want to spend 1,000 copper to make these machines a little bit more productive? And since it's me, the answer is probably yes. <laughs> it's either that or we get more resources out, man. You gotta pick one. I mean, it's almost fully saturating a red belt right now. And it's still not enough. So we may need more gear production. And by more gear production, I mean productivity moduling the shit out of that. And the thing is, you could also do it to the green chips. And because the green chips become slower, you can actually feed them less um, copper plates. But I'm not sure if, if I'm going to go that far. Because remember, the machines go down to about 0.5 speed. They're like assembly machine ones, but they just generate, I think, when it's 40% productivity. I mean, I, I'm actually not sure how, how often they make extra products. I think it's like... Because, so the productivity of this machine in particular is 40%. So I think like for every uh, every object it makes, it, make, it adds 40% productivity. So every two and a half things it creates, it makes an extra one. Like you're gonna notice it's gonna do that in just a second. So when that purple bar fills up, maybe I didn't explain this well enough last time. When that purple bar fills up in a second, boom, extra one. For no extra cost, it's literally free shit. So that's kind of nice. Uh, I actually need to continue to get rid of some of this stuff I have here. Like I have like heat pipes and stuff. What time? I, wow. Okay, let's let's set the coal train. So I actually did something this episode rather than just fucking around and uh, um, running really fast at the speed of sound. All right, we don't need that. We don't need that. We delete that. 
Um, and we don't need that. I'll keep the rest of this. Okay. I'll probably get rid of the walls that I have. So where is my... Okay, I'll put the repair packs away. Alright, so we're gonna run... Um, let's go get some more inserters here. I think I have enough materials. Actually, let's make the train first. One, two, three, four. So we're gonna do it in such a way where... Uh, so we're gonna work this out. I think we only need one coal train. I don't think we need more than that. Um, Cause it's just, I think that once those chests fill up, it's whatever. So we do have the coal coming down the middle of the line because we're gonna use it for later for explosives and things, which we should probably should set up a system for that too. Uh, we should get ready for artillery. Um, maybe not, I don't know. I don't know, man. So this is like done. So we're just gonna clean this up. Fortunately, by clean this up, it means uh, the bots are gonna give me a hand here. Uh, which, once again, I, I never seem to have storage chests on me. It'd be really nice if there's like an automated system for cleaning this up. And yes, there's a mod for this. You can actually have a mod automatically clean up things like this. Uh, but yeah. As you can see, most of this is just worthless now. Luckily, we could just kind of clean it up really fast. Uh, I mean, if you want some miners back, that's what you do. And apparently there's some extra here that I didn't even touch. How much is left in there? 3.5k. Alright, we're going to need some assistance in uh, taking this out. Alright. I'm not really, I'm not going to fine tune this, like, at all. Alright. See, this this is not, has not much left, but there's only one train that kind of goes in between these two. And it will, like, it will unload its stuff and it will leave. So, we don't have to do anything. Like, this one is going out too. And this one also requires a bit of something. So, I haven't quite decided what to do about these legacy stations. I usually just tear them up and then that's it. Uh, then we're done with them. So apparently, like, I always seem to leave, like, a small copper patch. I am extremely terrible at genociding the copper ore race. Wait, that came out wrong. Well, you get what I mean. Uh, whatever. Like I said, it's just whatever. Actually, there, there was that chest I put up somewhere. Should get rid of that. So once again, over here, I did the same deal. Uh, only one train coming here. And eventually that train will be retired and do something else more productive kind of a deal. So now I have a great abundance of resources here, actually. I'm just checking over here because, yeah, I did leave it here. So he comes over, he, he loads up as much as possible for like 120 seconds, then he leaves. Uh, we could use the, we could remove the 120 second condition. Uh, I just like having that because it, it just ensures that the trains keep flowing. Uh, that's the only reason I do that. Um, anyways. So as for this. Uh, I think the best way to go about this is just to, this is, uh, which, which direction does this, this go in? This way. Okay. So we'll just kind of, I don't know. I mean, I could make the, the stop right here or something. No, there's, there's like robo ports everywhere in the way. We're gonna, we're just gonna make it simple. Uh, it probably could actually stand to be a little bit longer than that. Yeah, don't kill me, train, please. I have a family f to feed. All right, so we have, yeah, this is good. So, uh, very simple. So this is like, now that I have the, the super bots and things like that, it's actually much easier to bring, uh, it's a much easier to bring resources everywhere, which is very fantastic for me. Uh, so let's make a system to load the train. 
I have one here. What are you missing? Uh, four fast belts. All right. Uh, and then you need a couple of iron chests. Wait, what the hell are you missing? Oh, I there's this, oh, it's not there. I see. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to fix that actually before we uh, get the train going. So as you can see now, like outpost construction is far less painful. So we're just this is how we're just gonna do this. I I know I only left one space in between this sumi. I don't know, man. Having red belts would have actually been really nice here, because whatever, maybe we'll make some red belts and maybe maybe it'll be what we needed. Alright. I mean, who cares actually? Yellow belts are just good enough. Especially because we, we now move so fast that it's like uh it's a non issue now anyways. All right, so we're just gonna do something like this, where it just plugs in right here. All right. So this is when your experience with the game, like in terms of like uh, what you're capable of with the building tools kind of comes into play. Uh, so if you're like really into that, um, you can get a lot done. You can get a lot done really fast. All right, and so there you go, mining outpost, basically put up in like literally like a minute flat and it's not even that much effort because I'm just I'm literally just running through it and putting this in if you if you if you have an abundance of resources and simply don't care I mean this is just how fast it goes up now so that's a coal outpost number one um, some coal up here how did that happen I mean I can we can bring that over There you go. So we're gonna even we're even gonna mine out that one. That's how much of a jerk we are. Now, this unfortunately does mean that like power consumption is going up again. Like there's really no stopping that. Um, also the thing I think we're gonna do is I'm gonna check down here. So obviously there's more miners I can remove. Uh, luckily stone is still in a good shape. Um, there's really not much else to do with that. Luckily it's still going, so I don't have to make another stone outpost for a while. The thing we will do though is we're gonna add a pre-signal here. Or sorry, chain signal, whatever you want to call it. Um Simply because I would like the train to basically see it's red now. I don't know why. Oh, because it can go like that. That's how it should be. Because I would prefer it to go into a block that is unoccupied, but whatever. Yeah, actually, it's not even going to do that ever. Alright, good enough. That's it. So now, when this coal train needs to go around, it'll likely have a free spl uh, slot to do it in. Uh, so we don't have to really care about that. Uh, okay, and with that being said... Let's go uh, finish up our coal line. So I'm going to get some more red belts because I apparently just ran out randomly. I have like a ton of underground belts, but nothing else. We should really make a system to automatically feed ourselves uh, belts that we basically need. So, yeah. As I said, if this is now too slow for you, uh, well, too bad, I guess. I don't know. I'm just going to leisurely walk around. As I said, I, I find that to be one of my least favorite parts of the game, is the fact that, you know, all there's all this cool stuff in tech, but it's like locked locked away, essentially. Uh, so we can just eat all that. Uh, also eat all this, too. I think we're good now. Alright. Uh, we're gonna need some pipes, though. Because we are kind of low on pipes. Alright. So, we're gonna go stop by where the coal train is. Uh, let's see here. 
There you go. Okay. You actually have a pretty good range on the logistics network, actually. Uh, let's go look at my logistics range. Uh, I have a lot more range now. I don't know how to show it normally. Oh, there we go. You can actually see it. Look at that. That's that's my own personal bot network range. It's pretty pretty fucking cool. I I like that. All right, so we put we put all this down. Nothing else is really having issues. Um, like there's always there's already bots up in the, those places to fix correct such problems. Um, oh yeah, we should just make the train go now. Why is okay? It's not misaligned. All right, so you can have all the fuel in the world. I want to stop carrying fuel though. Uh, let's see here. Give me a black train. And right, you're gonna go to coal till inventory is empty. Or 120 seconds of pass number. It's always my just my safety thing. I I don't know if I don't know if other people even bother to do that at all. I assume they don't. Um, I just found like if there's for some reason like an uneven carriage or something and it's like spending forever I'm trying to unload it and pass on its 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 contents for example it's it's usually much better like that. What? Okay, I may not have hooked up the carriage. I may have thought I did, but I didn't. All right, I may have made a slight error, but luckily. You know, it doesn't do anything. Okay, now it's all good. All right, get the, get the hell out of here. Get me some coal, son. All right, how do we want to do this? I just I guess I'll just have it come with the stone. No, actually, I, I kind of did want to go down here. Yeah, but it's still, it's still fine, because we can just... Whoops. Uh, we can just go with it like this. May not be the most effective system, but it has heart. I mean, the smart thing to do would be to follow the uniform here, which is like to underground belt this in these areas, actually. Oh, you really can't do that like that? Wow. All right. We'll do something like this, actually. There we go. This ensures it will come down here where the steam is. Uh, now, I, I can't be sure how I'm going to handle this, but the input priority is definitely going to be from the right because we're trying to empty out this uh, bullshit right here first. But the problem is we're running out of coal, so, cause like, it's just no coal makes it there. We're no plastics, no red circuits, uh, no factory. So, uh, let's see, is our first coal train almost coming in? Where is he at? Uh, he just came in now. We can actually go see him unload his stuff. His goodies. There you go, now we have a full line of blue belted uh, coal. This should be enough for the rest of the game. I, I don't think we'll need more than this, uh, especially since we're not going to be using coal liquefaction anymore. I'm actually probably going to retire this because, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but ever since then, more oil, that's a lot of fucking oil. Uh, that's a lot of fucking oil. Uh, that's an okay amount of oil. Uh, that's a lot of oil, but like particularly, particularly this one. So we no longer really have a problem where we're going to ever use coal liquefaction, I think, anymore. I think we're, we're done with that. It's like the biters hate me. But don't worry, um, we will give them a taste of freedom uh, with, with the artillery wagon. So here's here's the thing. So I'm doing this really long ass research and I don't know how long it's gonna take. Um, I don't know where the choke points are. I guess it's mostly with the science. Um, it would appear to be the science now. So uh, before I leave you off actually, cause it's almost been like an hour, which is seems to be typical of most of these episodes for me. Um, I'm gonna basically let me get one stack of this stuff. Let me get the productivity modules out. 
All right, here's what I'm going to do. So, blue science is the problem, right? Yes, it is. So, we're going to do something like this. Because all the machines are really slow right now, right? Um, because I've productivity modeled them, obviously. So that's kind of, this is what we're going to do here. It just needs, like, another line here, I think. I don't really have any kind of wonderful system for this. Where's my productivity modules? There they are. Alright, let's get some... Like I said, I don't really know if this is a good idea to be making these all the time. I actually don't know, but yeah. So if we actually go look at the coal now. Uh, so coal is... Now getting backed up. Um, unfortunately, it would it, it would appear that when it gets up to that point, it's not as backed up. But we'll we'll maybe fix that in just a moment. So this is going to give us some more uh, blue science. Uh, we kind of need that because we, as I said, we slowed down all the machines. Uh, and then we're probably going to need some more uh, of this science too. But uh, the problem with this is that I uh, kind of kind of need to make it like on the other side or something. I don't know, man. I mean, yeah, I just need to bring this over here and then make it again, because I don't know if productivity modules are the issue. Artillery is not using productivity modules anyways, but I may do that at some point. Um, yeah, we need some more power poles. So I'm going to just fix up the coal line a bit, and I'll leave you guys off. And then I'm, I'm going to just wait until artillery, artillery research finishes. I'll probably go to some other outpost. The problem, though, I have is that if I go to some other outpost and lay down a bunch of turrets, uh, this is definitely not the power capacity for it. So I'm wondering... I'm going to look into some nuclear solutions here. Because here's the thing. Um, if we add more reactors here, we most certainly want them to be connected to uh, this network here. I did not actually think that we would consume this much freaking power at this late of the stage in the game. I didn't. Need, I only need three reactors in my other run. I don't know what the hell happened. Um so, I mean, we, we certainly don't have a problem with Uranium-235, though. We have, like, 10 k uh, 1K of that, so. Uh, I mean, I could just make, copy and paste this set, but like I said, it's a waste because reactors give adjacency bonuses. So, I don't know, man. I, I don't know how much it's going to be, and I don't know if I'm going to do it off-screen. I may do it off-screen because you've seen me mess around with nuclear a fair bit. I want, I want to get into grander things like, uh, like artillery wagons. We're doing this. Uh, because I can. This should this should resolve a lot of the issues for the coal now. And now if we actually go back here, so now plastic is being made at full speed. It's pretty good. That's what we like to see. Full steam ahead. And what I'm even gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna fast belt some of it. Simply because I think it can go faster. And nobody's going to complain that about faster belts. Because I, I eventually combine it onto like one belt from both sides. Weird enough, advanced circuits is actually not one of those things that require you require a great deal of. But yeah, also this should be a fast splitter. This needs to be something like this, you know. The thing that would help out is balancing the line, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, we we haven't got we haven't gotten to that dire yet. All right. And the green chips. Ever since I practically moduled these guys, uh, the green chips actually make it to the end as well. Um, it could be the fact that like a lot of the blue chips. I, I'm telling you that these modules helped out immensely. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be one of those things where it's like, well, I don't know how many more we're gonna want to deal with that. So. Uh, yeah. Alright, guys. Uh, it's been fun, but... How many more do I have here? Three more. It's been fun, but yeah, we're gonna keep it going. I guess I'll keep the productivity module thing going. Like I said, I, I don't know if that's the play, is to keep making productivity modules, but they seem to help the base a lot. Like I said, there's like, a ton of, like... 
ton of all the kinds of sciences coming out, which is really nice. But apparently not enough of those kinds of sciences because yeah. Why is this? Oh. Oh, 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 I almost, I almost fucking left off in a big error here. Oh shit. I would have triggered people. I triggered myself actually right now. All right. That's what we actually need this. Fuck. So like, I was wondering why it looked like nothing had improved with this stuff, but yeah. Uh, hey, blue signs guys. Hey, <laughs> I actually didn't put any place to offload it. I completely forgot. Uh, my bad, my bad. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Probably should also practically module the military science too. We don't. We actually don't need this ammunition here. Like I, 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 I could just get rid of my guns and I, I would not care. I don't even need the grenades to be honest. But yeah. So if I add like an additional two things for military science here, which I can't because this is kind of how this works right now. All right. I know how to fix this. I love artillery wagons. Maybe. I haven't actually played with them much. I've just seen them in action. Alright, there we go. That should be better. That means I can bring these guys down. I don't know what to do. We don't need grenades either. We don't we don't ever use grenades. So we can just bring this all around. Oh, gun turrets? Oh, man. Yeah, we're way past the stage for that. Being useful. Side story for... Those turrets, but, you know. Had to happen. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's all good. Alright, so probably productivity module these. Uh, finish productivity modeling those. And then the blues. And then maybe the greens? I don't think I need to do the reds at all. I, I don't know, man. I think I think then at this point the productivity models don't have as much useful usefulness. I mean, they're still good for maybe this guy here. Uh, like, like I need maybe a couple more science things. Like as, as you can see, I'm not really working with proper ratios in the slightest. So all I know is that maybe it needs double the amount of science making buildings, <laughs> or maybe 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 I'll just go like you know, like you know how I have like one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yeah, one, two. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll just make like one third more, maybe. I don't know. Man, I I don't I don't play this game enough at this level, so you know, a sad story. Sad story for all of us. But yeah, we'll see. Okay, uh, bye guys.